then we shall be gods again. Power. Because a God, a true God lives forever. Okay? So we're going back to that, brothers. <laughs> we're going back to living forever. Being the true gods that we're supposed to be. And this is what's happening. And it starts with the elect of the nation of Israel. The chosen few that the Lord is calling right now to bring them back to their godlike status. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. And the house of David shall be as God. The house of David is the elect of the 12 tribes of Israel, 12,000 of each tribe. They will be as what? They will be as God, as the angel of the Lord before them. So there you go, man. How you get around that? You can't. Also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial. But the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. The one star differeth from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body, it is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body, and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, the first man Adam was made a living soul, the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Howbeit, that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthy. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God, the Lord, the Creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increaseth strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary.